Before I give the live demonstration of intuition activator, which is a device that you can control with your brain without using any gadgets on your body. So I would like to briefly describe of my journey that I started as an inventor. And I started this journey when I was studying in 10th standard. I had gone to a hospital with my father and there I saw one extremely paralyzed person who was struggling with his life. He was not able to do any kind of mobilization. I mean, his movements were completely restricted and his life was like worse than there. Then I thought that what can I do for him so that he can do everything by himself. And then I developed a breath sensor gadget that operates through breathing and thinking. To thinking and breathing, the person can navigate a wheelchair in any direction he wishes. He can operate all the electrical appliances and he can text messages on a cell phone. And I would like to show a video of this innovation where you can see only through my thinking and breathing I am able to navigate this wheelchair. So well, it, this I mean this is the breathing sensor apparatus. So now this is widely used by paralyzed people over India, and they are getting lots of benefits uh, by this innovation. And now I would like to ask you how your brain works when you are damn lazy, because someone said that if you are lazy, you find some innovative and smart way to solve the, to get the things done. And I am one of the most lazy guy in this case. If there is a water bottle over there, I am so lazy that I will not ask my friend, please let me that water bottle on my hand. For that one, I invented a gadget by which I, I will just make a gesture and I will just show my palm to that object and the object will get attached to, to my palm. Just watch this video. Want to know the scientific mechanism behind this? Yes? This is a water bottle over there. Behind the label. Sorry, not here. <laughs> I was just want to below there. The water bottle tattoos over there. In that water bottle, there is a level sticker on the bottle and behind the sticker, there is a magnetic band. And the wristband which I was, special kind of wristband which I was wearing, that has a magnetic fluctuation. So, I mean, I have the control to structure the magnetic polarity from North Pole to South Pole by making some special kind of gesture movement. And we know the magnetic principle phenomena that like pole ripple each other and unlike pole attract. And uh, the magnetic band which is used on the bottle is fixed and is quite powerful motor. But the one I am wearing is the most powerful one. And when I make the unlike charge, the bottle attracted to my hand. But, uh, the first time I, when I tried, it hit my face very hard. So I tried several times and finally, after a lot of practice, I am able to catch those objects. So I am similarly, the technique when I made the same pole, so it ripple back and get placed at the, that same position after practicing a lot, no doubt. Then comes my another innovation. If I am tired and I want to sit, why should I go near the chair? Why should I? Why shouldn't I call the chair? Please come here, then I will have a seat. I think really in a crazy way, in a really innovative manner. So just watch this innovation. How I.
fear that follows your path. You walk away in your home and the chair will keep following your path. And later I came to know, yes, this technology is really beneficial for the blind people. The people who are not, not able to see, they can just call the chair and the chair will follow their path and come to their way. Now comes the Raksa band. This is special safety band for girls to save themselves from any kind of rape attacks. There are such four special features by which they can completely save themselves from any kind of rape attacks. So I have a small dramatic video where you can see there's some bandits when they, I mean some even say they're the potential rapists when they try to attack a girl. How the girl by using that special band saves herself for this kind of rape attacks. Yes. Action and it will redirect the automatic call to the nearest police station and he, she can call the cops for help. So now this is widely being pilot tested in India and I hope this device will successfully run in all around the world and this device is quite cheap as well. Gadget I can say. Now it's time for this intuition activator where you can see I will be able to activate the several electrical appliances through dowsing which operates through mind. How many of you have some knowledge about dowsing, reiki, telepathy? These are the spiritual field like, so you know how the uh, dowsing pendulum works. Well, this is a dowsing pendulum where you can see the pendulum moves. It is connected with the brain, your brain neurons. It moves as per your thoughts. I mean, this technology is used in the ancient times to dictate the groundwater, to, to check the mines and any kind of predictions or any kind of to check the energy level of any area. So these tools is used widely in meteorological department, weather and climatic department, so many areas. But now, Apart from dictating anything, what I did, I used this technology to operate any kinds of, I mean, electrical appliances, electrical and electronic appliances. So what I'm going to do, through this dowsing, there are three bulbs and I will activate through my, I mean, this dowser moves on my thinking process. So wh whenever I will think to activate the bulb one, the bulb one is will glow. And when I will think to deactivate the bulb one, the bulb one will get deactivated. So similarly, I will do with these three bulbs. You can see how I, I will use this technology to do the gadgets. Yeah, all fine? So let's see. If I want to activate the bulb one. And if I want to deactivate the bulb one. Now, if I want to activate the bulb two, Now, if I want to deactivate the bulb too. Now, if I want to activate the bulb three. Now, if I want to deactivate the bulb three. I think you know about dowsing, so I think this through dowsing tools which generally also people use to charge their chakras and all, to balance their chakras and 
but i tried to do something really unique through the device i mean this is this can be really beneficial for the disabled people as well and the people who are completely paralyzed they who, whose movements are completely restricted if they get this dowsing power i mean they just need to hold a dowser and need to think i mean if they can coordinate like for this movement for the to uh, activate the uh, electrical appliance one for this movement maybe for to activate electrical appliance two this for to uh, there can be infinite coordinates in this dowser because it, it can i mean it can move in multiple direction in a, if a normal person use a dowser i mean he needs to use the dowser manually he has to make the movement but if you get if your chakras are completely charged energized and if it is connected to your brain neurons if your brain neurons are completely energized this dowser moves automatically with your thinking process i mean you can stop the dowser whenever you wish and you can make the dowser movement you can stop and you can also make the dowser movement just through your thinking you should have a, i mean you you need to practice a lot like meditations healing there so many ways to charge your chakras and to charge your brain neurons so i would like to elaborate more regarding this spiritual so what we did we just try to connect the spiritual science with technology so that you can control any gadgets just through your brain waves i mean dowsing is one of the medium so this is all about intuition activator i mean it can be operated through reiki through dowsing through healing through thadai through telepathy and the technology part which is involved is a frequency analyzer and frequency to digital converter so how it's how it is working exactly so when i making the dow dowser movements i am executing a particular frequency if I, if any one of you would come and would do the same dowsing movement it won't work because it is not on the movement it is on the frequency that executed because of that movement through dowsing you can charge something there is a crystal stone you can see you can see over there is a crystal over here you can see there is a rose quartz crystal over here and crystals have the power to to receive that energies that execute from our body we generally get power from the cosmic energies of from the environment and energy while sleeping and while meditation we get that cosmic energy inside that get enters in i mean in our body in a high amount so that we feel peace we feel calm and we able to activate our intuition power now what happens is that the technology part which is involved i mean with the through dowsing i mean with the frequency like if i am thinking light on i am let for i don't need it depends on all the individuals like if i am thinking light on to activate the bulb one then i am executing a particular frequency let's say about 100 to 110 kilohertz and now what happens the crystal receives that frequency of 100 to 100 kilo i mean 110 hertz and it then filters and analyze that yes this is the frequency range which i have executed and then it calculates what i have in, in the programming i have stored i, I have stored between that frequency 100 kilohertz to 110 kilohertz then it finds that yes if the frequency between 100 to 110 kilohertz then the bulb one should get activated and it activates the bulb one now if i want to deactivate it so i just need to think that bulb one gets deactivated and let that frequency is between 70 to 80 kilohertz and that frequency get executed from my body to through the dowser from my brain waves through dowser it the frequency is get executed and the crystal receives and again it gives the input that the frequency is between 7 to 80 kilohertz and it then i mean the circuit understand the frequency analyzer understand that yes this is a frequency input now to the output should be to deactivate the bulb one so for several appliances there is a different different frequency which i have programmed for different appliances and he is my guruji he is my sir sir sanjay lota jain i mean who taught me this uh dowsing power i mean this dowsing how to use the dowser i mean he use this dowser to in many ways now comes telepathy i mean i i hope you are clear know about how telepathy works like if there is a communication between two person without using any kind of verbal communication just so only 
whatever you can send your information, your brain waves information to other, other person brain waves without speaking anything. Through brain neurons, you can have the communication without using verbal communication. You can communicate between two people using this telepathy principle that is used in the ancient text. But what we have done, we just, I mean, telepathy between two person through brain waves. We have used this human. A, in our case, it's a telepathy between human being and the technology. I execute the frequency and the technology and receive the frequency. It's a telepathy between human being and technology. And now this is what this will be passed. This is going to be passed. And this is our future. That you can operate anything like Gmail, Facebook, anything on your thinking. You can hold your cell phone and think Facebook or text some XYZ to this ABC person. And it and this is going to happen without using any gadget on your body. I'm not wearing any kind of gadget. But still only using that tool. I made it, but I'm, I mean, this is the first stage. In next stage, what we are applying, we don't need to use the dowsing tool. Only through your brain waves, you can activate and deactivate all the appliances. And this is our company. I mean, our fab lab, you can say intuitive thinker fab labs, which we are based in central part of India. And I would like to thank everyone. Thank you so much.